concluded PhD in one year. How can that happen? Of course, you will give examples of Stephen Wolfram, who who did it in like at the age of 19. I mean, of of course, you always look above, not below, but still one year. PhD and two years masters. So three years you were done with masters and PhD at UIUC. Yeah, yeah. How did that happen? So I, I actually came to the UIC because like they had a combined program for masters. UIC or UIUC? UIUC, UIUC. University UIUC. of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign uh -huh. because they had a combined program in masters and PhD together in astrophysics. And so I was able to like you know like take a lot of courses in my first two years. I took like even PhD, all the PhD courses, masters courses, everything I needed. And I was working in industry and I was able to hack, I was able to figure out this hack where I would get like all these like research credits and internship credits and all like packed into my first two years. And I was the first person to apply AI in the field of astrophysics and mm -hmm. gravitational wave astrophysics. So that ended up being a big hit. My team won the Nobel Prize. It was a big team that detected gravitational waves for the first time from black holes colliding. And I was the person who led the application of AI in that field. So my first other papers ended up getting thousands of citations in like a really short span because combining AI, which was the hottest field at the time, with gravitational waves and black holes, which also was the hottest field in physics at the time because of the Nobel Prize, I was able to like, you know, like get a lot of like impact and citations and win like five different like awards, fellowships and get thousands of citations and publish five first other papers and like 75 co-other papers because my co-authors were like part of this collaboration and publishing like uh, papers with uh, including my work. So I was able to like really get a lot of impact in just like two years. That is extraordinary. Like average person getting 30 citations are like extremely happy. You got thousands. Yeah, I mean it has to, there's a lot of luck involved as well because you have to be at the right place at the right time, working on the right topic, but also you have to be open to like working in the interdisciplinary areas where new things are happening mm -hmm. and that is where you can have a lot of impact applying AI in physics.